Uh, I am doing a test of the full self-driving feature of my Model Y Tesla. Uh, I've got the latest software, 12.15.1.1, uh, and it just started raining, so this might be interesting. I'm going to go through a pretty busy intersection. I imagine Sam's Club is very busy at this time, so uh, it should be kind of interesting to see what it does. Let us try this. So, first thing I'm going to put it in drive. And then, should give it a minute and it will let me put it in full self driving. Now, here we go. And it's a little bit unsure. I didn't park right. I parked between two parking spots because the parking lot's empty. So maybe it's confused. Let's see. And it senses the poor weather, but I don't think it's too bad. It should be able to handle that. Maybe give it a little push. Okay. Just need a little push, a little nudge. See, and it is using its blinker in a parking lot, which now turn right onto International Tennis Drive. That's cool. It's driving like a driver's ed instructor. Everything is completely by the book. You can see the, the cameras, or the clarity of the camera is pretty good even in the rain. The rain isn't really degrading the FSD at all. Pretty fast, it's raining. This car is coming from both directions. And it did it perfectly. Windshield wipers. Okay, well that is a bit annoying. Tesla likes to use windshield wipers even when it's not really needed. But minor complaint considering it's actually driving the car autonomously is something out of science fiction. Like in Isaac Asimov's science fiction world, uh, the positronic brain, uh, that's basically uh, Tesla's inference computer that is the positronic brain uh, of the 1950s, 40s when Isaac Asimov was writing all of his greatest novels. traffic everybody is uh, why is this turning okay it should not be turning right here so I am just gonna 
let it do its thing and we'll see what it does. And just add a few minutes to our trip. Okay, that's kind of weird. Now it realizes it should not be turning right here. Now it's just hanging out, waiting probably for a chance to get back on the road. Oh, oh crap, that was... That did not look good. Okay, I had to intervene there because that little red car was coming pretty fast and did not look good. So let's uh, let's put this back in full self-driving and see if we get there. It was a little bit scary. Okay, I thought Tesla FSD was a little bit better than that, but I guess not. So if you're using FSD, make sure you're paying attention, because uh, bad things can certainly happen. That's the first time I experienced something like that, though. Every other time, uh, the Tesla has been more conservative. Maybe I should take it off of assertive mode, because right now, I had, I had changed it to assertive mode. Um, so maybe it is being too assertive. See if I can fix that right now. Autopilot. Put it on average. So maybe that will help. Do not like what it just did. And that's the car that could have T boned me a little while ago. Because in order to use FSD, you have to sign all kinds of agreements and Tesla has no responsibility at all if you get into an accident. It's entirely on the driver so pay attention. The car t-bones you it's your fault whether you're using FSD or not. save that video too. sake of the video. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. Now your destination is on the right. Okay, so it's entering by the, the gas station part of Sam's Club. 
Maybe I selected the gas station. That might have been my fault. Okay, let's uh, take control. And we will go find a good parking spot. I'm going to let it park itself once I get to where I want to park. Since I just bought this car, I'm not going to get too close to other cars. I'm going to park a little distance away so I don't have to worry about somebody opening their door into my car. Okay, let's park right here. Let's let this lady get out of the way. Start. Okay, that's a reasonable parking strategy. seems to turn the wheel a little bit excessively, but it always parks exactly in the center, so maybe that's not a fair complaint. Anyway, that was the full self-driving on 12.15.1.1, uh, getting me to Sam's Club. And a little bit of rain, a little bit busy, and uh, that's the first time where I was actually worried it was going to get me uh, hurt. So. Uh, if you're using FSD, pay attention and don't be afraid to take control whenever you see something unsafe. And that's, that's it. If you like this video, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.